pretty good conditions, maybe just a slight headwind, but not favoring one particular lane in this event. And that's exactly what you want for a canoe event. That's right, and we're underway already with the C2 men 500 meter A final. So a fantastic close race in the women's. And uh, we may well see the same here in the men's. As we look at the start, we're expecting the Hungarians. They did, they got away well. You can also see two from the top of your picture. The Ukrainians, Vigilis and Rybachok. They were second in Poznan this season, picked up the silver medal. They got away well, but it is with the Hungarians at the moment. So Hungarians technique holding up in these slightly blustery conditions. But as you can see there, we can, I think we can see eight boats there. Can't quite see the Lithuanians, but all with a chance in this one. Uh, indeed, every, every boat right now is in the race, basically. <laughs> There's no one who's taking a clear lead right now. So. Yeah, this is really interesting. Is anyone's to really take this by the scruff of the neck. Now, if this was a thousand meters, that would probably be what the Germans would be doing. But this, which will probably be the new Olympic distance for Paris. Well, this is a bit more of a difficult ask for the Germans, but they're right up there now as we get to the final 200 meters of this race. Germans have picked it up. Polish have picked it up. The Spaniards are there as well. You can see, in fact, Spain maybe just picking up with a higher stroke rate. There they are in picture, looking good at the moment. Paddlers working together, vertical paddles. They're in the red, boys. They can sense the win. They can sense they're chasing down the finish line. The Germans will be coming with that longer stroke, but the Spaniards, like they did in the K4, gritting their teeth and holding, hoping to hold on. The Polish are putting them under pressure as we approach the final few strokes towards the finish line. Looks to be like the Spanish bow. The Chinese are in there, the Germans as well. So Spain were the winners, no doubt about that, Laurence, but a very difficult to call for the silver and bronze. Indeed, I believe bronze is a very uh, close, close uh, 